Welcome back to Lawrenceville, Georgia, where the GGC women's soccer team got the nil-nil draw against LSU Shreveport. We're here with Dr. Giuliano. Dr. Giuliano, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Um, it's a nil-nil draw. Y'all had most of the domination throughout the game. You had a lot of chances, just couldn't bury them. What are your, what are your thoughts on the end of this? Well, I, I think um, it begins with the first five minutes where we had three shots inside the six, you know, and to not finish any of those, you know, sort of set us up for a, a rough finishing game. And then at the end, we just didn't play smart, you know? I mean, you give them credit. I, I was surprised they played for the draw, but they clearly were using Premier League level uh, uh, tactics at the end to, to, keep the, to keep the draw intact, but give them credit. And they, they got what they wanted. In fact, they had a great chance to win there towards the end as well. So uh, we got to learn from this and move on. Yeah, how hard can it be to break down a team who's so disciplined and organized defensively? Yeah, uh, it, it, it is hard. It is hard, especially once you go to, to, to 10. You know, when, once the red card happened, now we're at 10. We'd had a whole – we were going to go for it. Even if it meant a loss, we were going to push people up and we were going to go for the win. And then suddenly that changes the whole dynamics. And so, you know, you, you, you know there's no timeouts in soccer, so you're trying to get information out to 10 different players what you're going to do. And, and um, I don't know that I handled that especially well either, but um, it is what it is. And like I said, we got two games left this week, and we got to get ready for those. Yeah, and you mentioned you went down to 10 men, but your team, they had a tenacity about them. They wanted to win, even down a player. What does that show about their mentality? Well, I think that mentality was you know, shown clearly at, at Lindsay when we're down you know, with less than two minutes left and we come back and we get the draw ourselves. So I, I, don't, I, don't, cha I don't question this team's mentality. I do question some of our decision-making at the end from the, from the, from the verbal red card uh, to, to uh, uh, letting the ball out of bounds there and then ended up being their kick to to the, uh, that corner kick at the end. It just weren't the kind of decisions we are used to. So, Yeah, and apologize for the banner dropping behind us. No, it, it's, sort of it's sort of appropriate given the, given the match. Okay, and now you are without Victoria Watson in your next match. You've got a tough game against Life. How do you expect your team to bounce back? Well, Life's very good. I've already scouted them. They've got a couple even additional players coming back. So it's going to be a tough game. One of the biggest teams we'll see and one of the most physical. So I hope we're ready for that. All right, well, that does, us in does it for us in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Thank you for the interview, Coach. Thank you. GGC are back in action against Life in Marietta, Georgia, coming up next. For now, it was GGC nil, LSU Shreveport nil.